Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you again. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a topic that I feel, you know, needs a little bit of, needs more information about. And this topic is, do you need a preservative in your body butters? So I'm sure if you click on this video, it means that you want to make your own body butters, but you are not sure if you have to use a preservative or not. Like, do I have to? But then this video is for you. If this is a question you ask yourself, then this video is for you because in this video, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know in order for you to make the best decision for your business or just for yourself. So let's get started. The first thing that you have to know when it comes to formulating any kind of product, if a product does not contain water, it's pretty safe to not add a preservative because there's nothing for the mold or the bacteria to grow in. You know, water is life. Is the, if there is no water, there is no life, technically. <laughs> so since body butters are only made of oils, butters, waxes, emollients, maybe emulsifiers, um, you should be okay if you don't add a preservative in it because there is no water. Now, if you decide to add an ingredient uh, that contains water or if you decide to add water to your body butters, you will need a preservative. So if you decide to add like aloe vera gel or a hydrosol uh, or water, you will need a preservative because there is water. So there is a need for a preservative. Um, but, you know, this is like the simple answer, you know, the simple answer. Now, you might have seen other small businesses using uh, a preservative in their body butters. And let me try to explain to you why you might want to add a preservative in your body butters, even though there is no water. And that reason is simple, is because of contamination. Let's say your customers buy your body butters in a jar, like most people put body butters in a jar, so it's really open, you can, you know, dip your hands and scoop out the butter. Now, the problem could, could come if they use the body butter with wet hands and then they will introduce water into the product, which will make it unsafe because if they introduce too much water into the product that is not protected, then you will have mold and bacteria, it will be contaminated. So if they store the jar in, uh, in the bathroom and it's really humid and you have humidity that gets into the product, um, you can get contaminated, you know? So this is the main reason, you know, let's say the person uses the body butter, leaves the jar open and there's water that spills into the jar. You have water in there now, but you have nothing to protect the butter, the butter from this new ingredient that has been added, your product is now contaminated, can become harmful, you know, mold can grow, bacteria can live in there now, and it's contaminated. So, you know, that's something you want to keep in mind. This is the main reason why people do add a preservative in their body butters, because they're scared that there might be contamination. Let's imagine if you have your body butter, you know, and someone you know, regularly use it with wet hands and there's so much water that gets into it that now you have, you know, that now you have a contaminated product. You can, the person can end up, can have a bad reaction to the product, you know. There are some really harmful bacteria outside. You know, you, you, mold can grow in your product. So that's really bad, you know, and that's really alarming. But there's a way to avoid, you know, that situation. Simple things you can do is ex explain how to use the product. So explain to your customers that the body butter should not be stored in, uh, in a humid environment. The body butter or any kind of product that does not contain water should not be stored in the bathroom, but maybe in, you know, in a dry place. Let's say like this, you know, let's say that you put a warning. I mean, not a warning, but you explain how to use it. Okay. You, you explain to your customers that they should not uh, scoop the butter with wet hands, you know, these little information could help you avoid certain of uh, these situations. If you really don't want to use a preservative, that could be interesting. Another thing you can do is put your body butter in another packaging rather than a jar. Like instead of putting it in a jar that you scoop out, maybe you can put it in a tube or maybe you can put it in a pump. Everything depends on the viscosity of the, the body butter, but that could be an idea because if it's in a tube or in a pump, the person cannot put their hands in there. So even if they have dirty hands or wet hands, they cannot introduce any harmful bacteria or they cannot introduce any water into the product. And so the product is safe. But again, it might not be the best solution for a body butter because it's usually thick. 
and it, it needs usually you know to be you know scooped out so it really depends on your formula and on your body butter so for the risk of contamination and the risk of having a product turn bad a lot of people decide to use a preservative but even if you decide to use a preservative there are certain things you really want to take into consideration first of all do should you use a uh, oil uh, soluble preservative or a water soluble preservative I personally don't I personally don't know the answer to this question I really don't so it really it will really depend on you if you should use like an oil soluble or water soluble preservative uh, you really want to be careful when using a preservative you want to actually measure it you cannot measure a preservative with spoons or eyeballing it you can absolutely not do this I want to be clear because I've seen some really weird things you cannot eyeball how much you should add a preservative it's not so like you don't use it like this i've seen some people using some i've seen some people using certain preservative in with tablespoons you don't do that you don't trust me because there is a limit to how much you can add of certain of uh, preservatives everything is given to you in percent you have to really be careful where you buy it and get all the right information from your vendor once you have all the information you usually the vendor will tell you how much you can use of that ingredient in this case of the preservative. So when using a preservative, if you decide to add it to your body butters, make sure everything is in percent and grams so you can use the right amount of preservative. Don't, don't put scoops or tablespoons or no, don't do that. <laughs> it's not how you do it. You have to measure it. You have to weight it. You have to use a balance to make sure you use the right amount of preservative because for example phenoxyethanol which is a really widely used preservative has to be used cautiously you cannot use too much of it you have to use usually on the total of a hundred percent you have to use one percent of phenoxyethanol and that's it that's the regular that's the regulation now this is the european regulation but i don't that's what i know i don't know how it is in america i know the fda is really different but still don't overuse any kind of ingredient. Doesn't matter. It, that's the same. The same thing goes with essential oils. But um, but yeah, don't overuse it. So if you're gonna use a preservative, please, please weight all your ingredients. You, it's not. You can't use tablespoons. It's it's important. Trust me. Now using a preservative into your body butters might be a little bit complex because you might ask yourself, okay, but should I use like an oil soluble or water soluble? Maybe you maybe you should add an emulsifier. It's a bit complex. I mean, it's not super hard. You know, don't get me wrong. It's not super hard, but you have to ask yourself certain questions and try to answer them. So it's not the easiest thing, but you really have to think about it. Do you think it, it will be fine if you don't use a preservative? Because normally it should be fine if there is no huge amount of water in your product. It should be fine. But just if you decide, you know, to not put any preservative in your body butters, make sure to explain to your customers how to use it correctly. You know, be clear, you know, just a little sentence or two on your website uh, explaining that the body butter should be stored in a dry place, uh, should not be used with wet hands. This is important. This will avoid certain bad situations, let's say like this. But in the meantime, I also read a really interesting article. I don't remember where I read it, but I'm going to try to explain to you and I will try to find it, but I'm not sure if I will be able to find it, but I will try my best. But I read a really cool article about um, self-preserving product. It's basically the self, I don't know how to explain this, but um, it's a way of preserving the cosmetics. Basically, it's when uh, there isn't too much water, so life won't develop too much. The idea is that uh, you don't necessarily need to add a preservative because since you add, since there is just a tad bit of water that gets into a product, it's not enough to actually create its life. Basically, that's the idea. And you find this idea in a bunch of brands that use the self-preserving method, but I don't recommend you to, you know, play too much with it because if you are a small business, you probably don't have the money to, to get your product tested. So you don't want to play too much with things that can be a little bit dangerous. But generally talking, when I read the article, the person basically explained that if you make like a body butter and there's a bit of water that spills in it, it should be fine because it shouldn't be enough water for it to actually, um, uh, for life to actually come, you know. But again, 
this decision really relies on, is really on you. But I just want to say this, preservative are not bad, okay? Preservative are important in the making of cosmetics, in the f formulation, the manufacturing of cosmetics, um, preservatives are really important. So if at some point you decide to make um, a product that contains water, you need a preservative. It's not a question, it's not, oh, I don't like, no, it is crucial, extremely important. And I just want to make it clear, vitamin E is not a preservative. Essential oils are not preservative. Extract, botanical extract are not preservative. Yes, some people might have told you, yeah, this is a natural preservative, it's really good, blah, blah, blah. The thing is, natural preservative, there is, there is a bunch of natural preservatives, but they're weak. They're really weak. They cannot last long. They don't necessarily get the job done how they should be doing it. So if you don't have the money to invest in some good um, tests, because you should get your product tested in a lab. If you cannot afford to get them tested in a lab, don't play with people's life. Don't play with people's safety. So if you can get them tested, use a good preservative that will in fact protect your product. And then, you know, when you have the money to work with the lab to get everything tested, then you can work with more natural in, uh, um, preservative. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because there has been in the past a lot of problems, you know, with brands using only natural preservative and their product going moldy. Their product will go moldy and bad in a few weeks. And that's really bad for your image. You don't want that. So be really careful and mindful of what you're doing and what you're putting in your product is extremely important, especially if you're going to sell it. It's for the safety of your consumers. But in general, for body butter, if since there is no oil, since there is no water in general, it should be okay. So yeah, I hope this video was informative. I hope it was helpful. Uh, and yeah, if you need more information or if you have more questions, just leave, uh, just ask your question down below. I will try to answer uh, to the best of my capacity. And I have a lot of other videos on my channel. So if you're interested in, um, you know, in starting your own business, creating your own eyeshadow palette, making your own lip gloss base, uh, there's a lot of videos on my channel. So go check it out. I'm sure you're going to love, you know, the different things that I have already uh, put on my uh, channel. So please, if you like the video, share, comment and subscribe. Oh, and if you have any questions or any idea of videos, let me know down below. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Stay blessed. Mm -hmm.